Good morning and welcome to Senate Live Proceedings. You are watching the Senate Proceedings on the second day of the hearing where the Senate is investigating the impeachment of the Nairobi Governor Mike Sunko by the Nairobi County Assembly. The hearing is in, in, in its day two and Senators will be seeking to hear and determine the case this Thursday. This broadcast is brought to you courtesy of the Parliamentary Broadcasting Unit. This is in a collaboration with the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. A lot has been lined up for today's session. And senators will begin the sessions of today by hearing evidence of the governor, evidences of witnesses, if any, as well as matters, cross-examination and re-examination. We'll also have questions put by senators for clarification in regards to the witnesses presented from the legal team representing Governor Mike Sunko. In yesterday's session, we had the county government of Nairobi defending its case before senators in a motion moved by Michael Ogada, the MCA sought to defend their case and justify the impeachment. The Speaker of the Senate, Honorable Ken Lusaka, has just walked into the chamber and I'll hand you over for the live broadcast. Enjoy your viewing. Good morning. <clears throat> Let us pray. Almighty God, we beseech you to behold with your abundant favor and blessings as your servants whom you have been pleased to call to leadership positions in this republic. We seek guidance to treat and consider all matters that shall come under our deliberation in so just and faithful a manner as to advance the peace, prosperity, and welfare of our country and of those whose interests you have committed to our charge. Amen. Order number one, communication from the chair. Okay, honorable senators, you know, today is a, a continuation of yesterday. Um, I'm yet to see the two the parties. Okay, I can see one party has come in. Maybe we wait for a few minutes for uh, the other party to come in so that we are able to proceed. Yes, Speaker, I, th I thought... Yes, Senator Mutula. I, th I thought, uh, Speaker, before the parties come in, because I've seen two of the legal representatives, we would possibly do some internal, something internal, about process, etc., etc., so that we, we are, we are, all of us are clear before, the, before all of them come in. And then, of course, we can have more members in the House. Thank you, Speaker.
uh, council for the governor you, you can give us a few minutes sir. we do some housekeeping then you come in okay okay okay, okay. Yes, Senator Mtula Kilosa, Jr. Speaker, I'm, I'm requesting that you, you allow us to do a closed door session for about 20 minutes so that the parties can wait outside together with the ones who are going to sit in the... It's, 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 the, it's the microphone behind you. It's the speaker. Oh, oh. Is that better? Excellent. Mr. Speaker, I'm, I'm applying that we have a closed door session for about 20 minutes. We do preliminary issues. You allow the parties to stay outside so that we can do internal matters first and then they can come in. That is granted. Yeah, now we are. Uh, that's in order. So we are, we are in closed session until 9.25, so no cameras will come back later. Yes. Yeah, the people can raise the internal issues. Uh, Senator Chiriot. Just the internal issues, uh, Chairman. Number one, Chair, uh, I, I still insist that uh, we are still not doing well in terms of timekeeping and uh, frivolous points of orders. I feel, uh, uh, Chair, uh, we, we, you, let me wait because I really need your attention. His physical frame was imposing, standing at 7 feet and an inch at all, weighing 147 kilograms. He was known as a bigger daddy or Shaquille Roshan O'Neal, a former American professional basketball player whose success story you're about to hear. After being drafted in the NBA in 1992 by the Orlando Magic to become the 